Hello girls! Well, we're starting episode two here, and uh, what I did is this time we're going to make a big reactor. And a red net controller and that kind of stuff. Uh, basically what I did is I got everything prepared. That way you don't have to watch the boring stuff and me putting it all together. So basically I will go over here and I will tell you what you need to do to assemble one. Let's see, here's the quarry. Alright. It's over here. Now we're going to build it right here. It's going to be an 11 by 11 by 3 is the size. Okay. So basically this is what we've got. We got glass, we got reactor casings, we got an access port. I'm going to make another access port here in just a minute to show you how to make these things. Um, one that will eject this stuff. You know, like a regular reactor, you have reactor, it takes uranium, then it uses it and it ejects plutonium. Well, this here takes eulorium, and after it gets done using it, it ejects something called plutonium. And after you eject and get enough of the plutonium, you can create a... Um, steam-powered big reactor but uh, that one I've not done before it's it's pretty involved anyway so you got uh, the fuel rods that you put the eulorium in and you got the reactor casing you get this is this is what controls it here's the uranium uh, this is a power tap so we can get power out of it this is a red net controller and the cable stuff for it this this is what I'm gonna use to turn the reactor on and off automatically as we need uh, stuff for it so, anyway, uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make a, another reactor access port. So, let's do it this way. Another reactor access. We need the another one of these. So, we need four, a piston, and a chest. So, I know I got the chest, so that's not a problem. Go down here and get a chest. I got a bunch of chests because we, I'm using a, a turtle to do some strip mining and it, what it does is it, when it fills up it'll uh, it'll dump all its stuff into it. It'll put a chest down and dump it all its stuff in a chest. Okay, so we need a chest. Uh, piston first, sorry. Um, Alright, let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? That. And then that. And we got three pieces of wood, four pieces of stone, iron and redstone. Um, let's see here. Do I have, yep, I got cobblestone. There's my four pieces of cobblestone. There's my three pieces of wood. I'll go over here and get some redstone. Get a piece of iron, get a piece of redstone. And that should do it for the piston. I assume you guys know how to make this kind of simple stuff, right? Uh, iron in the middle, redstone on top, and then three pieces of wood across the top. Okay, there's my piston. And then we need to do that. Oh, I need reactor casings. Forgot. All right, let's go over and get a couple reactor casings. I hope I have enough to uh, build the build the reactor and all the stuff that I need. I think I got enough, so we'll find out in a minute. So chest here, piston here, four reactor casings. One, two, three, four, and there's my access port. All right, let's go put it together. All right, so. Let me get all my stuff that I need. Let me get this out of my hand. Oops, I'm going to need that. And what am I going to arrow for? Duh. Alright, let's go get my uh, barrel of redstone. Now, this is liquefied redstone. I'm using it to cool the reactor because you got to have something to cool it. Uh, you can use air, but it gets really hot. It don't blow up, but uh, it will... Uh, it will use a lot more uh, of the... Eulorium. Okay, so that's everything I need there. And let me give me a couple pieces of dirt here. Hey, I'm growing some cactus, by the way, as you can see. Um, let me grab some dirt here real quick. Oop. What I did is I poked a hole in the ground so I knew where I'd have to put, uh, start my casings. Because when I make one at 11... Excuse me, make one 11 by 11, uh, which seems to be a very efficient layout. So, one. Okay. Okay, there's 11. One, two. Oop, too close. Two, three, four, five, six, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right? There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Why is that only 10? Wait a minute, let's count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9. Okay, it's 11 by 11. I must count it wrong. Anyway, and then after you put that, then you fill up the inside. Alright. So on the bottom, it's got to be all reactor casings. Oh, hello. We don't want to do that. Those are the things that we need to control it. All right, let's put that back down there. All right, back up, back up, back up. You know what? I'm kind of worried now. I don't think I'm going to have enough. Well, we'll find out. See, the thing is, is you have to have reactor casings on most of it. Or, excuse me, not most of it, but basically on the outside. So let's go ahead and finish this up real quick. And we're going to do this 11 by 11, like I said. Because I was looking online, and this seems to be the most efficient. It gives quite a bit of power. Now, the reason I'm doing this is that thing over there. Remember those generators I showed you in the last one? Um, they create something called RF. Now, RF stands for redstone flux. Now, a lot of the machineries nowadays take redstone flux to uh, power it. So what we're going to do is we're going to build this reactor, which makes a lot of it. All right, so we need to need three high. One, two, three. Okay. And then in all four corners, three high. Okay. Pick that back up. One, two. One, two. Okay. And then we got to complete this. The, f the actual frame like this has to all be reactor casings. Um, how many we got? 37? Yeah, we should be able to finish. Okay. May have to make some more uh, glass, though. All poopy. I forgot. Okay, hold on. Let's go to bat mode. I forgot. I can't be stuck inside here. Alright, so... Uh, there we go. Now, we're going to put all our taps and everything. I guess we'll put them on this side. doesn't really matter which side you put them on. Okay, but we're going to put them all on this side. So, let's put all these things. Let's see. Put that up there. Put that up there. Seeds. Oh. Now, these two things go on the top, so we don't want with those right now. So we're going to put in a reactor controller. We're going to put in, what is it? That's a red, a red net port. So we'll put that someplace else actually. Let's put on that another side. Now let's go over here and put this on the end here. Access controller one. Okay, so now what you do is this tells you you put Eulorium here and eject here. So we're going to put it in inlet mode on that one, and this one here we're going to put on outlet mode. As you can see, it changed to blue. So that means it's out. Uh, power tap. This is so we can hook into it and get power. Okay, and what else we got? Uh, okay. Alright, that's fine. Now what we'll do is we'll put this cool stuff in there. That way you can see inside. That's pretty cool. Alright, we'll put the redneck controller and so on over here. What that does is it uh, automatically turns the computer on and off, or computer, automatically turns off and on the reactor. You know what, I don't think I'm going to have enough glass. So I still got glass I got to put in at the top. So I'm just going to have to make some more. Oop. Now the difference, one difference between the reactor glass 
and regular glass is it don't break. You don't lose it when you break it. Okay, so I've got four left. That's definitely not going to be enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video for a while here, and I'm going to go over here and make some uh, more reactor glass. And well, I guess what I can do is I can go ahead and put in the casings and so on. Or oh, it's starting to get dark. So let's go ahead and let me see here. Let's go ahead and put in the stuff on top. Let me see if I can sleep here. Where's my sleeping bag? Oh! Don't have my sleeping bag. Alright, let's head downstairs. Let's go take a nap before the boogies come out. Alright, let me take a drink of my coffee. Ah, rock on my coffee beverage. Love it. Alright. <clears throat> let's go back upstairs. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put in what I can. Oop, fell in the water. I can't swim, help! Anyway, so let's see here. We any, do I have torches or anything like that? No. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's one, two, three, four, one. Okay, so we'll just stick that right there for now. And then one, two, three, four, one. Right here. Okay, so here's where we'll start with our reactor uh, stuff, this thing. So, okay, now this is the. Ah! Not the dirt, dummy! There. Alright, so. Now, the way this works, and the way I was, I was told uh, in the video I watched, you do it like this, in a 5x5, five five, right? And it's got to go up to because the last block has to be. Did I do that wrong? I think I may have done that wrong. Well, let me see something here. You know, I should have tested this. <laughs> oh, let's go around and get the reactor or the fuel rods. We can always increase the size of the reactor if we want. So you got that. Now, let's see, these are your control rods, right? And then what you do is you fill in this area with other casing. Let's see, I've got 19 casings and four glass. So I need a lot of glass. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pause this, and I will start it back up when I'm ready to go. Kiddos, I'm back, and uh, we're ready to go here. So, let's go ahead. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put glass all the way around the edges here. Let's see. Am I in bat mode? Yep. Make things easier. It's easier if you can do stuff in bat mode. So, let's see. Okay, I need to leave that open for now, because you got to put redstone... Uh, Lots of glass here. I'm putting this all in glass because it's cool. You can see in it. And uh, that's the reason I'm putting all glass. And then once once you have this done, the glass kind of disappears into it. I don't know if you know what a multi-block structure is, but uh, it turns into a multi-block structure. Before I go and put the redstone or anything in there, I want to make sure that this works correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this out all the way. How many more have I got? Ten. I don't know if I'm going to have enough. Oops. That was the control rod. Ah, bummer. All right, well, you didn't see this. I'm going to cheat a little bit here. 
there. Normally I don't do that. I go ahead and just do uh, I normally just go ahead and do the uh, do it the legitimate way and collect the resources and so on. But since I'm recording the video for you girls, I thought I would go ahead and just cheat there real quick. All right, let's see. All right, and put one there, put one there, put one. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. There. Uh, so now the problem. Okay, one there. No. Nope. Obviously, I've got something incorrect. So we'll have to figure out what it is because it should have changed as soon as I did that and put the last one in. All right, so these are all in there. I'm not missing anything around there. Obviously, I need to go up a block. I think I'm short one. So, again, let me pause the video and I'll fix this and we'll try again. Alright, ladies, we are ready. Now, basically, all I've done is I've raised it up one and uh, closed this in with the, the reactor casings instead of glass. So, basically, uh, that's all I did. I had it one too short. That's the reason it wouldn't work. Now, I didn't complete it because I wanted to show you guys what it looked like. So, drink another thing of coffee here anyway so first of all we need to put our redstone drum down destabilized redstone now what you do with this and i love oh excuse me i love when the texture don't don't show up man that's irritating so anyway interact with it get a thing of redstone dump it in there Oop, dump it in there like that right and it flows out and thing of redstone. You do that on each one here. This is what we're using for coolant. Uh, to make sure that the reactor doesn't overheat. So, let's see here. Put some there. Okay, we put some there. Alright. And let's go over here. We're going to put some here. going to put some Hope I have enough. I didn't think about that. If not, I'll just make some more. I'll put some here. And we'll go over here. You know what? I'm putting it in the wrong blooming place, dummy. I need to put it further down. I need to put it down here. Because i got to put a block on the top up there. So. We put it down there. Uh, that way it doesn't come all the way up like this because I've got to put I got to cover up with the block and if the redstone's in the way there I can't cover up with the block so we'll go around here and move it shouldn't take too long uh, right there all right so that's all that now let's go around here that needs some and that needs some and I tell you without the texture being visible it's a real pain I gotta walk around here and figure out there it is. Alright, so that's fine, that's fine. That's fine. This one needs some. Okay. Go around here and get some more. Alright, let's see here. That's fine. That needs one. Okay. And more redstone. That's fine. That one's fine. You can tell because you can still see this part right here. If you can't, if you can see that whole part right there, you know that you need some more. Okay, see, we got 36 buckets. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Some there. Okay, go around the other side. You're going to see here in a minute what I mean by a multi block structure. I think we got it all. Oh, no, there's one there. Oh! Well, I didn't mean to do that. The problem with uh, falling in that is, of course, it's just like water. Uh, it'll push you towards the back, and you can get stuck in there and get drowned. 
Anyway, we need to get some sleep, but I'm going to cheat here. I'm going to use a command, and I'm just going to change it over to daytime so that I don't have to mess around with going downstairs and sleeping. Okay, so it's time, set, day. Okay, and that'll change it to daytime, or dawn, actually. All right, so we're all ready. Now, what we're going to do here, let me show you what happens once we complete the structure. Now, you see how it looks, right? Oop, uh, that, 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 that. And that, and that. You know what? I guess before I do that, I better go downstairs and make sure I got everything covered. Let me see how she looks. Okay. Uh, lots of redstone. Liquid redstone's looking good. It's looking good. All right, that looks good. All right, let's go ahead and finish this up. Now watch what happens to it. I keep forgetting. I gotta press shift. And that one, and you ready? Boom. See, that is what you call a multi-block structure. Okay, see how it changed? Now we got ourselves a reactor. And see how the glass became all uh, one texture? And then you got the control panel here to turn it on and off, right? Okay, so now let's go over here and let's get our redstone. There's the power tap. Oh. I guess I can get rid of this now since I don't need to get up there anymore. So this is where my plutonium goes out. And let's put some. We gotta put some yellowium in there so that it fills up. You see how it takes it? And what it did, you see in the reactor there? It put it in the fuel rods. So that's pretty cool, huh? So anyway, what you do is you see we're full here. You click power on all right and there she goes all right and it's building up power and the heat will build up but all that redstone will help control the heat so when it gets way up here that's when it starts burning a whole bunch of eulorium which we don't want it to do because you know we have to keep digging the stuff and it's hard to find another drink of coffee there so anyway, that's the reactor. Now let me shut her down because we don't need to do anything with that there. Okay, you see it's cooling down now. All right, so now let's go over and set up the red net port. This will control it automatically so that we don't have to turn it on and off. What it'll do is it will um, turn it on and off as we need power. Okay, so there's the red net port. So let's see here. Get my cables and my thing there. Okay. So, first of all, let's take care of the cable. Okay, two. We're going to put it right here. All right, so now it's hooked in. All right, so let's do this. Now, what we're going to do here we're looking for pass-through. Now, like I said, I only know this because I watched a video. Okay, so we're going to uh, I-O right in white. As soon as I get back to it. That was dumb. There we go. And on this side, we're going to go I-O right in orange. Right. So there's that. Now, oop, wrong button. I think I've got. Oh no, I forgot. I had it in cheat mode. I forgot to change it back. Sorry, kids. Uh, okay, so this is going to be a pass through. Okay. See how it's red? Let's go over here and adjust this. Now from here, you got white and orange. Those are the two colors we put. So in other words, why we need energy, increase the amount of control rods. Because just like a control rod, you push it in and out in a reactor to control how much power it creates. So anyway, there's that. So let's commit it. Now it'll be automatically on and off. As you can see, it's red here, right? All right, so let's find something that I can use control that. So let's go over here. Uh, I need my wrench. 
Give me my wrench. Okay. What we'll do is we'll get um, this thing here. Okay, and I think that takes, yeah, that takes redstone. So what we'll do, that's a power tap. So what we'll do is we'll just drop that right here. Actually, I wonder if you can put it right on the tap. Let's see. already filled up so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drain some of this out so this is a magma crucible so what we'll do is we'll go over here Oop. <laughs> I forgot about that uh, let's get some redstone 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 actually let's let's do a little lapis since I got a ton of that stuff all right so let's put this down Let's do some... Oh, you can't do lapis. Okay, well, that's all right. That is perfectly okay. Do I have any redstone on me? No, I do not. Uh, can I do... Can I do regular? Let's see if I can do regular. Nope, can't do regular. Okay, so... There's some redstone. Now that'll that will turn into uh, destabilized redstone. That's that stuff there. Okay, so let's let that finish. It's going to use some power, right? Let's go make sure my reactor's off, so I don't want it on. The reactor is off. Okay, that's good. Okay, see it's used a little bit of power, so let's go ahead and pick it up and attach it to the redstone port, if it will let me do that. I mean, it'll let me put the block there, but whether or not it'll interact, I don't know. Boom, just like that. It's full. Okay, and if you go over here and take a look at this buffer, see, went down a little bit. So anyway, that is a that is a big reactor. Uh, I will be using that now to generate all my power, uh, and you know it'll work just fine. So let me go ahead and kick it on, and it shouldn't really do anything. And we're going to wait until this buffer fills up. Once this buffer fills up, it should shut itself down. So let's see what happens here. So while that's going, that's pretty cool interface, huh? Anyway, um, so I can get rid of these survivalist generators now. I don't need them anymore. I'm going to have to get that thing called a deconstruction table. It allows you to uh, take stuff that you've put together, and if you don't need any more, you can deconstruct it back into all its normal stuff. This one here that I've got is the wrong one. So uh, this one's for magic, and I don't, I don't do magic. So anyway, let's see if that's done charging yet. Now, if you go over here and take a look at our, um, see, it's getting close. If you go over here and take a look at our redstone, you see it's active, right? Now, let's go upstairs and take a look at the uh, control rods. Except I got to switch to bat mode for that. Okay, if you take a look at the uh, the control rods, see, they're all the way in. Now, this is actually kind of backwards compared to a regular reactor. Control rods are what uh, control uh, how reactive the reactor is, if you really know anything about, uh, about nuclear power. Okay, so now it's full up. Now, the red net thing should cause the reactor's core. Oh, well. I've got something wrong here. Anyway, anyway, basically it's just a programming thing that I've got wrong with the, the RedNet controller, so I've got something wrong somewhere. Uh, white, orange, control rods, toggle reactor. Okay, that's correct. Now we're going pass through right and right. Maybe I've got it through the wrong one there. 
Anyway, this is just uh, it's just a programming. I've got something set up incorrectly. Anyway, that is the big reactors, and uh, I'll get this set up correctly. Now we'll be able to generate all kinds of power and not have to worry about uh, worry about running out of power. Now this thing here, you can expand it with no problem. Just add to it. You know, yeah, it looked pretty good. Get you some more power. Of course, the more power you generate, the more uh, the more plutonium or more uh, ylorium, actually, I guess it is you'll use. So, anyway, girls, I will talk to you later, and I hope this one wasn't too boring. I love you very much. Bye bye.